Hello everyone and welcome back to Audit Rewind. Before we get started, please drop a like and subscribe if you are new. Guys, we have a video today that I'm going to be reacting to starting with Tyrant Terminator Audits. Link down below in the description. Go and support his channel. In this video, he is performing a First Amendment audit, Freedom of Press, and oh my days, there's a lot of employees in this video of this building that really don't want to be filmed. They start acting super awkward, telling him that he shouldn't be filming, that they have privacy, but, but, a big but, there is actually a guy in there who knows about the First Amendment, and this guy is a savior. Now, the other employees call the cops and try to turn this other employee against the auditor, in my opinion. So, this is a very interesting audit. Let's get straight into it. Just documenting. <laughs> huh? I'm not. You can't. No. Why not? Yeah, it's public property. Yeah, why are you on this, sir? What's your name? Andre. Andre, yeah. If you can educate everybody here that I'm good to go. I mean, you can, but what's, what's you. your reason? Well, that doesn't matter. I just want you to be able to tell everybody here that I, I can. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's public. Thank you. It's public. Right, I'm just saying, you guys said I couldn't do it because it was federal. So, <laughs> you see, uh, you, you're good. thanks a lot. So, if there's... Well, but you're okay with the one above you. <laughs> you see the logic? That makes no sense. Yeah, it makes no sense. So she she was trying to say it's a federal building, I mean, which they have a right to not want to be recorded, though. Oh, no, people, please. Uh, they have a right not to be recorded. So what the hell does this even mean? To begin with, of course, they have a right to not want to be recorded, as that's just a feeling to not want to have something happen. Yet uh, that other person can exercise that right. So whether you want it or not doesn't really matter if it's their right. Like someone singing loud in public might be annoying to me and my ears don't want to listen to it. Yes, my ears have a right to not want to listen to it, but do they have to? Well, yeah, unless I plug my ears and then run away or walk away. What on earth? This guy was actually siding with the auditor and upholding the constitution. Now he's kind of gone a bit soft. Let's keep watching. Which they have a right to not want to be recorded, though, sir. Well, if that's the... That's, that's do, that's let me ask you something. Andre, right? Mm -hmm. So do I have that yeah. same right? <laughs> You're uh, talking about those. Well, I'm, I just want to ask you, do I have a right to not be recorded as well? Uh, well, you're not recording at all. But you, not we're, 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 we're recording you because... <laughs> but do I have a right not to be recorded? You, we're <laughs> recording you because you come in here and do something crazy, something criminal, you break that's, the law. And that's true. But that's not why you're recording us. But I'm, I'm just asking oh. off your logic, though. You, you made a point. You said they have a right not to be recorded. Do I have that same right? Because if that's the case... I'm gonna ask you guys to cut off your cameras. Nah, it's, not, it's not quite the same. That's exactly right. It, 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 it is, though. It's definitely the same. It's a camera. It's, it's okay. pretty bad. Okay. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm here to investigate the personnel here. And, uh, it's bad because people ask you not to record them? Well, the, well, the reviews on you guys is, oh, are bad. I'm yeah. aware, but, yeah. but you, you just said we are pretty bad. Is that because we asked you? No, 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 I said the reviews are pretty bad. Okay. So I haven't encountered you guys until right now. Okay. Um, just the supervisor. Okay. If he's okay with that, I have no problem. Yeah, but what I'm saying, hey, let me come get your license plate just in case. <laughs> yeah, she took a picture of her CTA fam. Get out of my I'm gonna call the cops. Well, you just you just you're took a picture of me. Right now, and I'm I'm stalking you. I'm stalking. not stalking you at all. When you take a video and it's against my, my I don't want you to do I can take legal you, action against you. You just took a picture of me though. I don't care. Oh, you, why? If you blow, like you said. I'm not taking a video, I'm taking a picture. So That's I'm correct. Call the cops right now, Romeo. No, hey, I would have never suspected this. <laughs> you know, even the manager, you guys see the manager even came out, told everybody that, you know, good to go. And I don't, I mean, yeah, I'm very I get that. You know what I'm no. and, and I can, and I definitely can, and I'm yeah, definitely going to. Spot. I'm definitely spot. going to. She took a, a personal picture of me with her phone, so I have a right to take a picture, a personal he picture of her car. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be the deciding moment. Cops have now arrived. Let's get into the good part of this audit and actually see what's going on. So far, I think Tyrant Terminator has been very respectful, honest, 
And also this employee at this uh, building has been very, very good. But you can tell he's trying to please the people he works with too. I mean, why would he want to cause tension with his own fellow colleagues? I can understand why he said that silly comment about how they have a right not to want to be recorded. Uh, again, that's just feelings. Everyone has a right to whatever feeling they want in the world. Like, if you feel angry, sad, pain, you have rights to feel these. I mean, it's not like you have a choice anyway because of the neurons in your body, but <laughs> at the end, it just didn't make any sense, that statement that he made. So let's keep watching and see what the cops have to say because there's a few employees here that are not happy. So I have a right to take a picture, a personal picture of her car. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. If the gloves are off, I'm usually a nice, peaceful person. But I'm going to make sure I get a picture of a car, regardless. What are you looking at, uh, Capitol? Yeah, that's not my car. Why, why would you suspect that it's mine? Oh, because I'm acting goofy, huh? What are you looking to accomplish? Well, like I just told you precisely what I was getting ready to do, right? I'm going to take a picture of her car before she get up out of here. Definitely am. Then I'm going to file a FOIA. I'm going to get me a, buy me a couple of stamps, and then I'm going to book on out. So... You know, I'm glad that you you guys are here trying to educate them that we do have a right to do it, and they're still not interested. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's still not, it's not the norm, right? I mean, Most people aren't just that's happy. a lot of stuff that's not the norm. You know, a lot of people put hot sauce on white rice. That's not the norm, but, but it's, it's not illegal. <laughs> that's just absolutely correct. Uh, you don't want to give it? <laughs> What's your name? I ask you first. Be, officer White. Right, they, these two officers, I don't just provide ID. Yeah. What's the badge number, sir? 366. Okay. Appreciate you, man, for being a uh, professional and, uh, you know, coming in and trying to educate these fine folks that what I'm doing is perfectly legal. Four, four police officers. Wow. We were just driving down the street. Oh, you, you guys never got a call? No, no, there was a call, but we were just driving down the street. So we oh, okay. Pass, so. Okay. Yeah, since she's on this side of the police, I mean, of the post office, maybe this white car is her. Not film people in their faces. Even if I have a right to do it. And then I <laughs> ask you to please conduct your business and then leave. And leave. And, and I told you that's and exactly you what said, I was going to do. You said you would eventually. That's correct. So so what you should have honored that. I never gave my name. Okay. No, I'm asking. Oh, right. well, I, I don't really want to give it because I, I usually do. Uh -huh. But but you guys have been unprofessional, especially yeah. calling the police on someone that has done nothing wrong. Oh, okay. Obviously so, right? They came right. and left. Like filming people's life. Like, that's not so, wrong. So why wasn't I taken away? Do that make sense? Obviously, the police just came and told you, even you, that I'm good to go. No, they didn't say anything. This guy who works at this office was doing such a fantastic job. I was genuinely just so happy with how he was acting at the beginning. And it just seemed to all go downhill quick. I don't know if it was peer pressure from his fellow colleagues. I don't know if they said something to him or if he just felt like that he changed his mind halfway through because Tyrant Terminator started filming the cars outside. I mean, I don't get how that makes any difference. If anything, I would have thought he th he thinks filming outside is more lawful than filming inside a building, even though that also makes no sense. So I could blab on for hours about this, but this is my honest opinion. I think the cops did great. They attempted an ID check. It was turned down and the cop didn't persist, which was professional. He identified himself by the badge number very quickly. And uh, I think that was good. I can't really criticize this video. Uh, as in the auditor, but I can criticize the people who are employees of this building, and I already have done that. So I'll leave a link to the original down below. Let's get into our next one. Next up, we have a very heated video of a auditor exercising his First Amendment right and some officers that are, well, extremely angry for whatever reason. Now, I've seen this video already, and I'll leave a link to the original down below. Please go and support this creator. I'm going to be reacting and criticizing the best moments from this audit. So specifically, this encounters a auditor and a uh, officer who doesn't like the language that the auditor is using. So ask him to leave as a result. So this uh, auditor tries to argue that it's freedom of speech, which I would agree with in my opinion. And uh, this cop is very, very aggressive. And I think he needs to not be so aggressive in his way of acting. So let's take a look at this video and uh, see what happens. With the, with the lady? Um, all I'm trying to do is file. Hey, listen, you've used some offensive language. And for that reason, I'm going to ask you to leave right now. 
No, you know? This is a public area. And, but, and you just, use offensive language, which you can't use. Yeah, you can't. So you're leaving. That's called, the, that's called the First Amendment. No, it's not. Freedom of speech. Sir, what are the five freedoms of the First Amendment? You can't Amendment? use offensive language in here. Please read that. Yeah. I love Section 415 of the Penal Code. If you continue to do it, I'll arrest you. First Here Amendment. You what are the five freedoms of the First Amendment? Partner, listen to me. Read this. Why didn't you read you this? You can use the camera. All you want, I don't care I about. I thank you. But what are the five freedoms? You can't use offensive language. What are the five freedoms of the First Amendment? I don't care what Freedom you have to, to say. Freedom to speech. I don't care what polite. you have to say. Look, I'm trying you to be polite. What you need to do, you either stop nope. using listen, that kind stop. of language you in here, listening. or you're going to go to jail. <laughs> okay, great. That's an offense by you. You're breaking my amendments. No, I'm not. Yes, sir. If you, if you kick me out of a public office, sir, you're going to have to... Yeah. <laughs> public office. I'm trying to file paperwork. Then get your business done and don't, don't call her names. Well, she's not helping me. Ask her to help me. I asked her politely. She's... Are you letting me help you now? Can I help? No. She said, you're she's, that's what I'm saying. She said she won't help me. Hi. That's because you're using offensive language, so don't do Sir, it. I'm being, do you want to get help or not? Are you just in here to cause problems? You're trying to get That's on. my question. Are you I'm here to cause out. problems? Or? I'm being polite. I'm being nice right now. I want to file paperwork. I have the right to do that. Then do that. Do not Please. use offensive language Thank and go you. over there and do, get your business done. What's your name? It's weird how the cop just did like a U-turn and initially he was saying that he was going to kick this guy out of the building so I'm guessing trespass him for using bad words. Like, uh, <laughs> the, it, he was trying to say about penal codes, etc. I, I find it funny when officers try and say penal codes are somehow even a match for the Constitution and amendments. That is hilarious but it's not at the same time if you get what I mean. It's actually quite scary and worrying. Um, in this video, he did end up going to do the complaints and uh, the business that he needed to do as this officer realized that what he was doing was a bit stupid and he shouldn't have uh, ended up trying to kick this guy out. You know, I guess you could say that using bad language is disorderly, so if you're ever doing First Amendment audits, try and keep your language to a minimum, especially if you're cussing in front of uh, people in public, it kind of makes people instantly go against you. So I think for activism of the First Amendment, it's actually a bad thing. That's just my criticism, but all in all, I think this auditor handled it really well. Link to his channel down below. Next, I'm be reacting to this video by No Directives. I'll leave a link down below to the original. This is a moment from one of his audits that uh, I think is the best moment, the best moment from that audit. If you want to watch the full audit, I'll leave a link to the original. So basically, this audit is trying to film some trucks and some uh, things in public that he finds interesting. So he's exercising his First Amendment right, freedom of press, uh, plain view, plain view doctrine, etc. Those of you will know what I'm saying. It's just music to your ears. In this video, he encounters a bunch of really angry kind of employees at this uh, center. Don't know where this is. I think he states it in the video in the original version. But uh, the cops get called pretty quick and they turn up uh, and uh, I'm not going to tell you what happens next because I, I have a tendency to ruin the video by giving away what happens. But uh, yeah, it's so stupid. Cops shouldn't even be there in my opinion. But let's get into this. I'm going to react to what happens. Then they got on the phone, so I said, heck, they're calling you, so yeah. we waited on y'all to get here. expecting us, okay. Yeah. Your yeah. Name, what's your name and badge number? My name is Deputy John Matheson, badge number 7011891. Thank you, sir. Um, we just have to have it attached to the call, so that way, I mean, if we get another yeah, call about it later, they can say, you know, okay, there was a green Chevy out there earlier. Uh, deputy was out there, observed the scene, you know, everything's okay, nothing illegal is happening. So that way, you know, if we get a call about this later, somebody shows up and sees a green Chevy sitting here, then they say, okay, nothing's, you know. Yeah. Right, thank you. Oh, so, yeah, and another reason, the main reason I was asking about why y'all are filming is just because I'm going to go talk to him about it and just be like, hey. So the truth is, I think that a lot of these workers don't really understand auditors. I mean, if they did, then they would know about the Constitution and the First Amendment. Most Americans do know about the Constitution, but they don't know the details of it. 
some even pretend to know about the constitution like you will not even believe the amount of like fake uh patriots i see all across all different countries not just america who claim to be proud of something yet they don't even know what it is like i saw audits from veteran centers and they're like screaming at a guy with a camera like assaulting him yet they literally defended the country and went to war for the rights that the, the guy's exercising it's just the world is backwards and unfortunately what i'm getting at here is these employees probably don't have a clue they think the guy's committing a crime by filming them because they need to get permission or something that's probably what's going through their heads, so <laughs> let's keep watching. And another reason, the main reason I was asking about why y'all are filming is just because I'm going to go talk to him about it and just be like, hey, nothing illegal is happening right now, but, you know, so I can tell him what's going on. So you're writing a new story, and you said you were just interested about how everything worked and, you know, the process and how long everything took. Huh? Well, like I said, this was my focus, uh -huh. and they, you know, no problem over here well i don't know you might have got a call from over there too i don't know no i just got a call but we saw this concrete. and i said well heck you know they were filling one up Fair and enough. then they decided to walk all the way over here and but it is what it is and but the, you're not on their property right now um don't believe this side of the road is going to be more than It's just ever. crazy, man. Public, man. Right. They don't own everything. So Why do you think the fence is way up there? Right. They don't put telephone poles on private property, man. Right. You understand what we're doing right now, though? Right. We're causing a scene out public. Oh, you're going no. To... Can I get a supervisor? We'll make this easier. Yes, Thank I will you. gladly get a supervisor. They caused this. Out of me. I'm still, I'm still there. I'm on my filter. How long is your field training? Um, I do it right now, just in, up until I go to academy, and then I'll be in academy, and then as I come home for any breaks or anything, I'll be in the field as well. Do you know it? I do, but I don't have to answer it. Well, of course you don't. Get over. Um, so you guys are good. I'm gonna go talk more to Concrete. I'm gonna tell them that. So that way, you know, if they keep calling, we can tell them, hey, look, we've already sorted this out. No, nah, man, I mean, if they hadn't uh, did what they did, we'd have been gone by now. What was it that they did again? Come out here and, in, in, you know, in the public, wanting to know what we were doing and all that stuff. <clears throat> That's not a crime either. I mean, oh, I didn't say it was. No, okay, okay. But what I'm saying is, like I say, they, they people freak out over a camera nowadays. Yeah. And then they get on the phone. I know what they're doing, so I'm not going to run and have you run me down. Right. You know what I mean? It just looks more suspicious. So we always wait. You know. Right. Listen, I could have showed you on my phone because right. I got it on my phone. Like I said, we do our research. I personally think these cops were really reasonable. I think they listened to the auditor, and I found it interesting that there was a trainee cop on the on uh, duty which is quite unusual because in the UK, you're not allowed to do that. I mean, it's, it's a different term. You're not really a police officer. You're like a PCSO or some type of uh, trainee cop, but they have different names in the UK. And uh, he was in the middle of doing his academy training, which, uh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's kind of cool. He spoke to the auditor and uh, they just had a chat. I like how they defended his rights and kind of uphold their oath. That was really professional of them. They were kind, articulate, and professional in my opinion. And the good thing is, this auditor gave them respect, which they deserved. Most auditors would still scream in their face, make fun of them, and uh, this is an auditor I de definitely recommend, as he is very good at what he does. So, a link down below to his channel. That's the end of today's Rewind episode. Please hit subscribe on my channel, and leave a like, and maybe comment down below your opinions. And uh, yeah, you guys, I'll catch you in tomorrow evening's upload. Peace out.